and welcome back for another edition of Bolly Buzz. The Indian music industry lost a true gem after iconic singer KK passed away due to a cardiac arrest on Tuesday. The singer was performing in Kolkata after which he complained of uneasiness and collapsed. KK was laid to rest in Mumbai today. His family and friends from the industry paid their last respect to the iconic singer. May his soul rest in peace. On to some filmy update. Shah Rukh Khan is coming back to the silver screen and that too with a double dose. King Khan has collaborated with South filmmaker Atli for his upcoming film co-starring Nayantara. Now, according to reports, the film has been titled Jawan. Reportedly, the makers will soon make an official announcement. The report further stated that SRK will be playing a double role in the film. Well, this B is all set to enjoy this double trouble. Sara Ali Khan's Instagram is a dream for any travel enthusiast. The diva is often seen travelling to picturesque locations and makes sure to capture them on her camera reel as well. Sara is currently holidaying in Istanbul. She has been sharing glimpses of her vacay on social media and treating her fans with some stunning clicks. On Wednesday, Sara upped the hotness quotient on Instagram after she posted a picture of herself in a bikini. The actress sported a multicoloured swimwear while enjoying her pool session on a sunny day. Don't we all just love a pool day? On to some news from Hollywood now. The Johnny Depp Amber Heard case verdict is finally in and Johnny Depp has won the multi-million dollar defamation suit. Needless to say, Depp is celebrating the jury's verdict. Taking to the gram, Depp said, The jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. In a statement, after the jury awarded him $15 million in damages and just $2 million to Heard after the jury ruled that she defamed Depp when she wrote a 2018 Washington Post opinion piece alluding to her past claims of domestic violence. Well, that's all for today. We shall be back with more newsy stuff and hot headlines tomorrow. So, stay tuned.